Hi. Hey. Welcome to World Water Week. Thank you very um, much. Tell me who you are and a little bit about yourself and why you're here at World Water Week. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Rami Abderrahman and I'm a journalist, I'm a freelance journalist, water journalist. I'm born in Jordan, based in Stockholm, writing about projects, water projects in Africa, Middle East, sometimes Asia and Latin America for, well, one of my clients is an American client. So it's, it's like working globally and mostly through uh, internet and social media. Yeah, I've been based in Stockholm for four years now and I sometimes do a radio show at the Swedish radio. Great. What do you think of uh, World Water Week? This is the second time I'm here. The first time I was here was 2008 and then they arranged the conference in um, Stockholm Central. Yeah. And now it's a little bit in the suburbs. Uh, I think, as far as I remember, um, I made a lot of great contacts um, last time I was here and unfortunately I was not able to come here last year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but, but I still have like plenty of stories to write about from yeah, two years ago and now I'm just gathering, um, it's, it's a wonderful mix of people, wonderful ideas, um, people creating um, energy from rain, people um, using human waste to make doors, amazing ideas and, and, and the only thing that I think is lacking is the involvement of social media and that's what I'm here to talk about. Okay, what do you think people could do a little bit differently? Well, there are so many parallel sessions going on, there's so much happening and the way this is being communicated to the public is mostly uh, through a typical traditional top-down approach where you have the big media sending a, a concise story summing up the thrust of the whole conference to the public and lots of the, the small little uh, interesting ideas are not being communicated well apart from what you're doing here at ACFO. Thank you. Yeah. With IRC and Seaweed. Yeah. So, as I said, um, yeah, most of these sessions, despite the fact that they could, they are open to the media, they're open to the public, it are closed sessions, and I would like to see um, more social media activism, social media activists being invited. I'd like to see um, live streaming of sessions online. I'd like to see all those wonderful, wonderful presentation slides put on SlideShare, for example. Um, there, there are just so many ideas that we can um, t to sort of get the message across on a flat level, like citizen to citizen, and 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 that's extremely important. As far as uh, as far as it goes with different generations, um, a recent study, an American study, that shows that. Um, there are different ways that different generations um, uh, relate to, to media. For example, generation um, Z, can we call it generation mm -hmm. Z? People, Z? Uh, people <laughs> born in the late 1980s, early 1990s and so on. Uh -huh. they, they're more likely to trust a person they're lot more likely to trust a news story suggested to them by a friend than going to the newspaper and reading it. And reading it. Uh -huh. So that's, I mean, so they're to get with trusted networks. Exactly. They would. They wouldn't. They probably wouldn't trust a, a random story on TV the same way they would trust a story that was recommended to them by a colleague or a friend or a peer. Mm -hmm. And uh, and. Um, yeah, and that's that's why it's very important to com communicate a lot of these ideas to younger crowds, younger people as well. Um, in Sweden, we have um, yeah, I mean, ninety percent of the population has access to internet. Um, they are using internet, uh, social media, at work, at home, etc. Um, I'm getting my news from Facebook and Twitter more than I'm getting it at. The traditional news channels, despite 
that I'm a journalist myself. You mentioned SlideShare, so what other, other uh, outlets might people here use to get word out? Well, SlideShare to share uh, yeah, the slides that, that, w that are presented here. Um, wh what you're doing at ACWA is really great because um, you're giving interviews um, with different people, different idea, uh, interesting ideas, and and uh, spreading them uh, on the internet through various uh, platforms, Twitter and and uh, you, and own website and so on. I'd like to see, for example, live streaming via Bambooser, for example. Um, I'd like to see more twittering, more discussion happening. So the conference will not end tomorrow. It will be an open dialogue. Uh, that where the participants of this conference and the public, people interested in these issues, can have an ongoing dialogue and and build on what they what they started here. Okay. Great, thank you very much for thank talking you. with us.